Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. I was gonna say Fire Song, but I guess this is really just the uh, legacy of the Breton epilogue on the PTS. Let's go talk to everyone's favorite tiny cat man. Zaji has news. What is it, Zaji? Speak. Thank the moons. Zaji Wait. was worried you. Oh no, Thank texture the is weird. Zaji was worried you left with the tide. Lady Arabelle sent this one with urgent news. What news, Zaji? Well. Lady Arabelle doesn't exactly trust Zaji with all the details, but she did impress upon Zaji that she had urgent matters to discuss with you. So, she sent Zaji to find you. What did she say exactly, Zaji? Oh, she said, Zaji, I have urgent matters to discuss with our friend. Go find them, dear, and tell them to come talk to me at Mandrake Manor. That's exactly how she said it. Ask Haska she heard it too. I'll meet Lady Arabelle at Mandrake Manor. Mm, come to think of it. This must be about the peace talks. Queen Irene and the other leaders are quite annoyed that the talks haven't started yet. Hurry, friend. Go to Mandrake Manor and tell Lady Arabelle that Zaji sent you, just like she asked. The peace talks haven't begun yet? No. And Queen Irene grows more annoyed with every rise and fall of the sun. Inactivity pains her. Lord Baccaro keeps delaying, and Lady Arabelle isn't sure what to do. But these are details that Zaji isn't aware of. You should talk to her. Lord Baccaro, you say? Oh no, could he possibly be bad? Who could have guessed it? Back to High Isle. And I was just thinking I was done with this place. This place. Oh wait. Uh, where's Iphalon? Oh, you can't see it here. It's on the northwestern. Oh, I'm really curious. Hold on. Uh, where would I have it here? This would be a perfect view. No, it's still active. Okay. That's disappointing. I was kind of hoping the skybox would change. It's weird to see this place so empty, too. I'm so used to seeing this place packed with people. Howdy, folks. Long time no Good see. Good to see you, my dear. Zaji found you, I take it. Come, we have much to discuss. I'm glad Zaji found you. Sometimes he actually manages to surprise me. You've already done so much. I hesitate to ask, but Lord Baccaro is reluctant to move forward with the peace talks while the Ascendant Order remains a threat. You think they still pose a threat? The Ascendant Lord and his minions are still out there somewhere. Lord Baccaro is hesitant to proceed when an attack could occur at any moment. But I can't keep the Alliance leaders here much longer. Their patience with the situation grows thin. Would the Alliance leaders really abandon the Peace Hawks now? They are a proud and fickle lot, but they have one thing in common, dear. They respect you. Go to the City Palace and talk to them. Ask them to remain patient. Then speak to Lord Baccaro. See if you can convince him to let me get things started. Okay. Find the Alliance leaders at Gonfalon Palace and convince them to wait just a little longer. After that, look for Lord Bukaro at the city's western docks. He's been there for days overseeing the Society of the Steadfast Relief Efforts for Galen. Why are the Alliance leaders at Gonfalon Palace? I had to put them somewhere, dear. And Mandrake Manor isn't large enough to keep them comfortable and adequately separated. There's more than enough room in the palace to make sure they don't engage in any unchaperoned squabbling. Can't you let them return to their own kingdoms until we deal with the Ascendant Order? That would never work. It took untold hours of planning and preparation to get them here in the first place. And then we nearly lost them on multiple occasions. No, this is our one chance for peace. We won't get another if they leave. Tell me about the relief efforts. According to the reports I received, you were there, my dear. You saw firsthand the destruction at Vastir, the rumblings from Iphelon. The Society of the Steadfast is sending aid to the islands as quickly as their ships can make the journey. Remind me, who's Lord Baccaro again? Lord Baccaro Valores, philanthropist and founder of the Society of the Steadfast. 
He and his organization have gone to great lengths to assist those impacted by the Three Banners War and other catastrophes, such as what's happening on Galen. And what does Lord Bakar have to do with the peace talks? He's sponsoring them, dear. And he's paying our salaries, so keep that in mind when you go to talk with him. Get Lord Bakara to agree to let me begin the peace talks, and then we can get High King Emmerich and the others to the table. I can't wait to see the, sh the villain shift for Bakara when he's like, I was the villain all along. It's like, okay, yeah. And he starts, you know, going on rambling about his, his motivations. I'm, I, I want to see how much of a flat note that is. It'd be nice to get off my feet. What quest is it telling me to do? Oh, the dailies. Burmima? Who's this? They've separated us. Have us under constant guard. I feel like a prisoner. And all because Lord Bicaro wants to maintain the sanctity of his peace talks. But I want to hear your news. Where have you been, my friend? To Galen and Ifalon. I stopped a plot involving the Firesong Druids and Sea Elves. Druids and Sea Elves? Huh. Impressive as always. And have you learned anything more about the Ascendant Order and its mysterious lord? Not yet, but Lady Arabelle's running down some new leads. We'll get the peace talks going soon. Yes, yes. For a Breton noble, Lady Arabelle seems quite competent. I know my father trusts her, despite her ties to Emmerich and the Covenant. We'll get to it. I can't wait to get out of this room so we can finally start talking. Uh, no, oh, she's up there. And Emmerich's in there. All right, we'll talk to Iren next. Hmm. Hello, Queen. Do you bring news, my friend? Is Lord Bakaro ready to summon us so we can finally engage in the discussions of peace? Not yet. The Ascendant Order is still out there, but Lady Arabelle's running down new leads. Well, that's something, at least. I swear, though, if something doesn't change soon, I'm going to call for Captain Zaji and return to my own domain. I've been absent long enough as it is. You abandoned the peace talks? Locked away for my safety is not what I had imagined when I agreed to attend this conference. I'll abide a little longer. But my royal patience is growing quite thin. Go, my friend. End the threat so we can get to the business that brought us here. Yes, ma'am. The stories I've heard about Queen Irene. Oh, right. I forgot Isabel likes when you talk to the I leaders. If even half of them are true. It's a shame it doesn't count when you talk to the prince and you have to talk to the king. The Scald King. Oh, there you are. Hey, Big Blue. I used to enjoy Wait. my visit. No. Never mind. I used to enjoy oh. my visits to the I used oh. to enjoy my Hold on. Does he shift? I used to enjoy Never mind. my visits to the Ark. Every time I talked to him it was a different angle. It was a welcome change from the hustle and bustle of my court. But because of the ascendant order, I'm practically a prisoner in here. But tell me, what have you been up to? I went to Galen and Ifalon. I stopped a plot involving the Firesong Druids and Sea Elves. More druidic traitors? I really must have a talk with their elders. And they were working with sea elves. That's not an alliance I would have predicted. But what about the Ascendant Order? Any sign of them or their lord? Lady Arabelle's running down some new leads while we work to get the peace talks underway. Aha, uh -huh, Arabelle. She's never failed me yet. Give her whatever help she requires. I haven't spoken to Iren or Ernskar since the celebration. I think I actually miss them. The guards are overly protective of us and we've had practically no contact. You haven't spoken to the other leaders? No. Lord Bakaro wants the peace talks to occur under controlled conditions. He's worried that if left to our own devices, we'd start another war. And I can't say he's wrong. We're all a bit hot-headed and stubborn, if you hadn't noticed. Okay, thank you, Bill Nye. Wait, yeah, he's voiced by Bill Nye, right? Or am I mixing him up? I think he is. I didn't check the outside of the Galen Palace to see if that guy's friend ever turned up. I'll do that next after next time I fast travel. <clears throat> I 
do not want to talk to the hooded figure. I wish you could... I really wish you could give up the... The... Soul Shriven and Cold Harbor quest. It's such a pain. I cannot get there from here. I have to go the long way around. The Soul Shriven and Cold... Cold... Soul Shriven in Cold Harbor quest. God, I could not get those words out of my mouth. These docks are a mess in terms of layout. What? Wait. Hell you... House to Fort seeks able marines to drive the sea elf menace from Oh, our oh, that's for Dread Sail Reef. I'm not doing that. Goodbye. I couldn't Let's do it if I wanted supplies to. Supplies on board. <coughs> the people of Galen need our assistance. I'll take care of things here on High Isle in your absence, Lord Bakaro. May the society's efforts on Galen bring the people of Vestir <coughs> some relief. Excuse me. Hey, totally not bad guy. What's up? <laughs> Whoop. The I got shoved away. Ha-ha! <laughs> the defender of the three thrones and the savior of the sisters. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. The Society of the Steadfast is needed in Vastia, and my ship is ready to depart. I decided to oversee the relief efforts personally. Lady Arabelle sent me. She'd like to get the peace talks underway. <laughs> Lady Arabelle uses every weapon in her arsenal. I suppose that's why I hired her. But the timing isn't right, my friend. There's too much at stake to risk another setback. Once the most recent threats have been eliminated, then we may begin. What recent threats? I was about to send word to Lady Arabelle. My scouts reported new Ascendant Order activity at the Dufort shipyards. I sent a messenger there to confirm these reports, but they have yet to return. I fear Duchess Alea has fooled us all. Uh-huh, what do you mean? After you discovered that her brother was the Ascendant Magus and killed him, Duchess Alea claimed no involvement. She was stoic in her grief and assured me her brother acted without her permission or foreknowledge. Hmm. Since you're here... What are you thinking, Lord Bakaro? If you're still working with Arabelle, then you can look into the validity of this threat. Discover what became of my messenger at the Defort shipyards. That would ease my mind while I aid Vastir and get us closer to starting the peace talks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hold on, I want to go back to Galen. Yep. Uh, this work isn't I going to knew do it. Itself. This was all the fault of those damn druids. Let's see the castles well, up here. Some druids, but Sir Balman told me how insistent you were, Galfin. He <gasps> called you a royal. Yay, she's the still arse. alive. I couldn't bear thinking of you trapped in a cage on Iphalon. If my complaints help convince Sir Stefan to save you and the others, I can live with the insult. Sir Stefan and the mainlander. They saved us all and put an end to Archdruid Orlaith, and brought me back to you. Oh. Ah, friend, thank you for helping to rescue the captives from Iphalon. Through your efforts, Dame Feta has been returned to me. I, I mean, to us. Praise Ifre for small favors. Thanks for rescuing me and the other captives from Iphalon. I thought I'd never see Galfin again. Well, I mean, Galen. That's what I meant. Must have been a slip of the tongue. Look at that smile. Oh, that's delightful. I'm so happy they, the two of them have a happy ending. Alright, the shipyards, you say. Did they change the icon? Hey, hmm. I wonder how much of the epilogue will take place in Heil and how much of it will take place on Galen. The Hidden Lord. Oh, are we gonna... Is this gonna be the quest that we immediately learn Bakaro is the Ascendant Lord? If he doesn't end up being the Ascendant Lord, I will be floored. I mean... There's no way it can't be him. This man's dual-wielding... 
woodworking hammers. Night Captain, sighted and said if I send a messenger named Duncan Jenis to the Dufort shipyards. They have orders to confirm our take over the shipyards and report on our activity where to, to, there to Lord Bacaro Valors. When the messenger arrives, deal with them. The confirmation of our presence must remain secret as long as possible. The Dufort shipyards are vital to our efforts to rebuild our forces. Maintain our control through whatever means you deem necessary, the Ascendant Lord. Uh-huh. Doc Master assures me that those hooded knights are just mercenaries hired by House Dufort to guard the shipyards, but I don't trust him. In fact, I don't see a single laborer here bearing the emblem of House Dufort. I fear the reports of Lord Bakar received about rogue knights commandeering the shipyards prove true. I intend to bring this information to Lord Bakaro's attention at once, though the Doc Master insists that I tour the yard before departing. A refusal could arouse suspicion, so returning to Steadfast Mariner will have to wait just a little longer. Interesting. I mean, not, <clears throat> not really. It's Bakaro setting up his own free freedom of suspicion by having his own messengers killed. I mean, he's had his own employees killed. His own. It's just, it's just. I want to see him drop the. Oh, I'm such a nervous little man, guys, and see what he's like actually supposed to be like. Five claw. Terrible news! Lady Arabel has succumbed to some unknown malady. She's upstairs in bed waiting for you. Uh-oh. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Welcome back, dear. And wipe that expression off your face. But your glasses. I'm not dead yet. Lady Arabel. I want to hear all... need to rest. Oh, Ravana. I forgot all about Ravana. I want to hear all about your conversations with the Alliance leaders and Lord Bakara, dear. But I think we need to deal with this situation I find myself in first, if that's all right with you. What's wrong with you, Lady Arabelle? Poison, I should think. It has all the usual signs. Right after you left, I received a package. My favorite wine. And a note of congratulations for saving the Alliance leaders. I should have known better than to pour a glass, but here we are. Any idea who sent you the wine? The note was suspiciously vague about that. If I hadn't been tired of thinking about twelve dozen other things, that should have set off a warning bell. Instead, no matter. Tell me, is Lord Bukara ready to start the peace talks? Not yet. He sent me to the Dufort shipyards. The Ascendant Order is still using them. How can that be? Duchess Alea assured me she had retaken control of her shipyards. We'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you to figure out where that package came from. Determine who wants me out of the way. Nothing has been touched. Okay. Everything is still exactly where I left it. Examine the note and bottle carefully. See if you can trace them back to their origin. And talk to Ravana. She's been working to identify the poison. And figure out an antidote. My life is in your hands. Do you often receive gifts from unidentified admirers? More often than you might expect, actually. Comes with the territory. I am rather famous, dear. Still, I should have been more careful. I can't afford to make a mistake like that again. People who send expensive gifts usually want to take credit. Anybody who might have sent the poisoned wine to you? Just guesses. I suspected the Ascendant Lord, but your news about the Dufort shipyards concerns me. Did we misjudge Duchess Alea? Was she working with her brother? Is she part of the Ascendant Order? We need evidence before we can make an accusation. What is this last minute trying to cast doubt on another character writing? Dufort Singular Amber. Well, they definitely want to make it seem Any like it's from Dufort. Any distinctive markings on the bottle, dear? To Lady Arabelle Duval, Mandrake Manigan. Once again, you have outdone yourself, my lady. I'm quite certain that by your actions, the leader of the three alliances, leaders of the three alliances, were spared a grueling and painful death. And peace remains not only a hope but a real possibility. Please enjoy this rare vintage with my compliments and keep up the good work. From a devoted and grateful admirer. 
Aside from the anonymous signature, it's the same as other notes I've received. And Ravana? Lady Arabelle is fortunate that Zaji sent for me, and not one of the Society of the Steadfast's menders. They wouldn't have been able to counteract the poison. What do you mean? This poison smells slightly of garlic, and has all the earmarks of a druidic compound. But its effects remind me of much older recipes. No healer without druidic training would have even recognized some of the ingredients that make up the poison. So you were able to nullify it? No. But I have given Lady Arabelle a tincture that will keep her stable and slow down the poison's most deadly effects. I need to return to my workshop, analyze the components, and consult my ancient herbal apothecary. I'm sure I've seen this before. What should I do? Just what Lady Arabelle asked. Discover where the poisoned wine came from and who sent it. I'll leave more of my tincture with Zaji and give him exact instructions. Where's Captain Killian? I need to go do research. The Argonian on my captain. Own. Meet me at my workshop as soon as you can. Oh, I really hate being so impotent. Ravana tells me her tincture defers the worst effects of the poison, but I still feel weak, like my blood is on fire. <sighs> Enough of my problems. Tell me what you saw when you examined the note and the bottle. The note doesn't reveal much, but the bottle bears the house to Fort Seal. It's a singular amber. Let me guess. The 571 vintage. I'd be hard-pressed to refuse such an exquisite wine. Ashcroft's fine goods and imports. Only place on the island that might have any bottles available, other than the Duchess's private stores. Go talk to them, dear. I'll see what I can learn. Ask for Fillion Ashcroft, the proprietor. He knows me well and keeps a spot in Bayside Artisans here in town. And while Ravana works on an antidote, I'll send Zaji to make sure the Alliance leaders don't accept any mysterious gifts. Isn't Zaji supposed to stay here and make sure you don't die? Where's... She said it was in town, right? I wish they had a setting in the options that you could disable the, like, loading bit. Because I think that's just so you don't accidentally spend money. But there should at least be an option you can toggle that off. Oh, this place! Right, the cat you can pet. Hello, Worm Seeker. Cat. Did you come here for crafting certification? If you came for crafting certification, I can assist you. Oh, that's weird. So I guess the template characters haven't done the certification, but they still have the crafting writs available? Welcome to Ash. Wait. Welcome to Ash. Welcome to Ashcroft. Sometimes I see weird texture stuff. Imports. I am Fillion Ashcroft. Proprietor and expert on all things luxurious and exquisite. What might I help you with today? This bottle of wine. Do you recognize it? Hmm. Let me see. Yes, a fine vintage. Very fine indeed. I may have sold a bottle or two recently, but I don't make a habit of discussing my clients' orders. What is this about? If I may be so bold. Lady Arabelle received this bottle as a gift, but the wine inside was poisoned. What? I had no idea! Lady Arabelle is one of my best customers! I swear on my reputation, that wine left this shop unaltered. In fact, I only made one sale that included this particular vintage recently. It was a rather large order, in fact. By who? Oh, this is awkward. Castle Navir Seneschal placed the order, claimed he needed to replenish the cellars for Duchess Alea, and demanded I sell back the wine I had purchased from them. That exact vintage, to be precise. You. Oh, sorry, I cut him off. I do hope Lady Arabelle will be off. I do. I do. Oh, okay. The uh, Castle Navir, huh? We blue green, blue green, blue green. Oh, that's. I'm gonna stop doing that. What's the Seneschal again? They're like 
the like chief butlery guy, or I guess butler or maid. I don't think it's a gender specific. Hero oh. of the sisters. You what was that about me being? Oh, okay. Oh. Hey, Duchess. Long time no see. Hey, you got any guys buying poison wine? Lady Arabelle's assistant? How good to see you again. But I don't remember your name on my schedule today. Did we have an appointment? I have some difficult questions to ask you, Duchess. Do tell. Well, go ahead. After everything you've done for the people of the archipelago, you've earned the right to be direct with me. Lady Arabelle was poisoned. The wine was part of a large order your seneschal placed recently. Lady Arabelle poisoned? Is she all right? But what was that about wine? I haven't placed any orders recently. Not while the castle is still in disrepair. And I haven't appointed a new seneschal since that trouble with Steward Hersian. What about these send an order? They control the Dufort shipyards. Again? I thought my knights ran them off after that terrible business with my brother. Thank you for bringing me the news. I'll send a battalion to deal with them right away. I know how this must look, but I am not in league with those malcontents. Lord Bokaro seemed to think otherwise. Did he? Well, I want the Ascendant Lord brought to justice, the same as you. That wine that poisoned Lady Arabelle. Was it a Dufort Singular Amber? Vintage 571? I received a similar gift this morning. It's in the Knight Commander's private chamber. I should examine the gift. The Knight Commander insisted that the anonymous gift be tested before I consumed so much as a drop. Smart Commander. It's in her private chamber, waiting for one of my handmaidens to come by and taste it. Oh. Feel free to perform your own investigation. Tell me more about the gift you received, Duchess. There's not much to say. It arrived without fanfare, with an anonymous note. The vintage was my father's favorite. He was still new to his role as Duke when the vineyard turned out those precious bottles. Why would someone send you a gift of your own wine? We depleted our own stores of that vintage a long time ago. But everyone at court knows I was fond of that wine. We opened a bottle once a year to celebrate my father and the elevation of House to Fort. I was quite sad when we uncorked the last one. Hmm. Where is the night? Wait, where is the night commander? Were you always here? Is she just not here because I've done Isabel's quests? As the six, uh, as the anniversary of the ascension of House to Ford approaches, I thought you might like a bottle of your family's favorite wine. I know how hard these are to come by. May you raise a glass to your house and to your father's memory. And long may House to Ford reign over the archipelago. Yep. Mm -hmm. Am I just magically supposed to know that it's poisoned? Oh, right, I forgot you can just take stuff in here. What do you think? Wait. Did... Does she have, like, some crazy tattoos on her... Isabel, I need you to move. On her back and, like, it's a see-through thing? Or is that just the material on the back? What do you think? Oh, it's just the material. Did someone send me the same gift that poisoned poor Lady Arabelle? The note and the wine are the same. Do you have an idea where the gift came As from? As we discussed, and you no doubt noticed, the letter was unsigned. My knight commander insisted on having someone else taste the wine before she would allow any to pass my lips. I'm just glad you arrived before that happened. Yes, but we're no closer to figuring out who sent the poisoned wine. Hold on. Earlier you mentioned that the shopkeep claimed that my seneschal placed an order for a large amount of wine. While we did no such thing, one of my sentries informed me that a courier had arrived with an unscheduled oh, delivery. Oh, I missed that. Right, I noticed them talking when I arrived at the castle. The sentry ordered them to wait. Then your answer may be right outside. I told the sentry to have them wait by the jousting tents until I was ready to deal with the mix-up. Talk to the courier and find out who hired them to deliver the incriminating bottles of wine to my castle. Okay. Someone has gone to a lot of trouble to try and remove both myself and Lady Arabelle from the table while also focusing the blame for this all on me. Speak to the courier and get some answers, or I will. Why would someone try to kill you and also, and also try to make it look like you killed Lady Arabelle? To sow confusion and weaken House Dufort, of course, and to further delay the peace talks, perhaps even scuttle them completely. I have political rivals, but none who would stoop to murder. If I had to guess... This is the work of the Ascendant Order. You think they sent the poisoned wine? I fear we'll find the Ascendant Lord's hand on the tiller of most of the recent events that have plagued the archipelago. 
Call it a feeling deep in my bones. In the meantime, talk to this courier and see what they reveal about whoever hired them. I was wondering why there was weird, unique dialogue as I passed by. Ooh, oh, they're wearing the House Dufort style from the event. Hero, is there something else I can assist you with? Is that courier I saw still around? Yes, they're over by the tournament tents, waiting for an audience with the Duchess. I still find it strange that we wouldn't have a record of a shipment as large as the one they're trying to deliver. Hmm. How come NPCs just don't like wearing gloves? Why is that such a thing? Courier Fanoa. What armor are you wearing? What outfit are you wearing? Are you from the castle? Wait, hold Can on, I... your horse is in the way. Are you from the castle? Can I finally make my delivery and be done with this damn job? Can you tell me who hired you to make this delivery? Was it Ashcroft's fine goods and imports? Ashcroft's? Mm, no. Some hooded figures hired me to take some crates to an isolated spot up north. That's where I met another hooded figure. He helped unload my wagon, gave me the crates for Castle Navire, and told me to make the delivery. Tell me about these hooded figures. Did they give you any names? Mm, no names. Just enough gold to make me not want to ask any questions. You did hear me say we were in an isolated location, right? But, if it helps, they were definitely wearing armor under their hooded cloaks. Night armor. Can you tell me where this isolated location was exactly? Right below the cliffs of Garrick's Rest. Look, I know how all this sounds, but I needed this job. Courier work has been hard to come by since the trouble here and on Galen. All I know is I delivered one set of crates and received another for Navir. Five Claw! Zaji has found you! Yes, you have, Zaji. What is up? Lady Arabel wasn't improving, so Zoji went to find Druid Ravana. Do not worry, Five Claw. Casca stands guard at Mandrake Manor. Instead of giving this one more medicine, Ravana sent me to find you. What did she want? Druid Ravana wants you to come to her workshop right away. Do you know where it is? Just west of Gonfalin Bay and north of Druid's Gate. When you see her, remind her that Lady Arabel still needs the antidote. You all go talk to Druid Ravana. Oh, that makes Zoji feel much better. It was good to get out of the manor and do something. All this waiting makes Zaji's ears itch. This one will head back to the manor and make sure Lady Arabelle is taking her tincture. Okay. Goodbye, Zaji. Good luck. Interesting. I didn't think we'd be seeing Ravana again. I thought she was just like a one-off little side quest, or side character in a main quest. Like, just a means to move along the narrative. Back in the saddle. Ooh, actually... Wait, is this the... Oh, it's all the way over there? Yeah. I wanted to look because I think the Mid-Year Mayhem, or whatever it's called, the White Strakes Mayhem, whichever is being tested now, so there's a new style. It's just... Gloom? Gloombound? Something? No, not Gloombound. Something like that, though. Ah, uh, there you are. I hope you've had more success than I, my friend. You know... The last time I did quests with Ravana, she had a missing torso, I recall. I thought that I'd be able to replicate an antidote using some of the old recipes in my ancient herbal apothecary, but nothing I've concocted thus far has worked. This poison is proving very resistant to our tried and true elixirs. Were you mistaken about the ingredients used to make the poison? That's just it. I identified the various plants, root, stem, and leaf, but they aren't those plants. Not exactly. I don't understand. Neither did I, at least not at first. But after careful study, I can see that someone with extensive agricultural knowledge created new and more potent versions of the rare plants used to prepare the poison. Oh, did you discover who sent the wine? The wine came from Ashcroft's shop, but someone at Garrick's Rest bought it and added the poison. Garrick's Rest? Strange magic saturates the wildlife around those ruins. If that's the source of the poison, I'll need samples to craft an antidote. Meet me there. I fear we could be dealing with another rogue druid, and a powerful one at that. I'll meet you there. We'll need to proceed carefully once we get to Garrick's Rest. 
If we are dealing with a powerful druid, we won't be able to avoid them for long. Why do you think a druid is behind this? The courier described a knight under a hooded cloak. Hmm. That sounds like the Ascendant Order. But only a skilled druid could alter plants and create this vile poison. We know they worked with the Elder Tide Circle before. Maybe they still have some druid allies assisting them. How long can Lady Erebel hold on without an antidote? The tincture I provided will slow the poison's spread, but it won't hold off the inevitable forever. She should be alright for a while longer, but I do recommend we hurry. Once I have a sample of the plants, I know I can craft an antidote. This is a bit of a slow start for the uh, epilogue stuff. Garrick Stress is this one, right? Like, yeah, I get it. They're really trying to drive home the whole poisoning, all the important characters, and trying to, like, shift blame. But they could have done this in half the time, I feel like. Oh, it's like the far side of Garrick's Rest. Okay. It's so weird because it's uncomfortable how empty the world is right now with no other players seemingly on. But at the same time, I really like it. I love single player experiences where it's just you running through the world. The problem is, I would love that for this game, but the problem is there's just some activities that aren't balanced around it. Unless they figured out a way like you can use all your companions at once and they're much more powerful... I don't know. Like, if they ever took this game offline, I would hope they make a single-player version. Look, it appears something heavy was dragged up and down this hill recently. This door was not here before. A door. That's definitely where whatever made the marks came from. This was not here. A vast series of halls and chambers stretch beneath Garrick's rest. Like the keep itself, the space below is ruined and abandoned. Huh. Be careful. I don't think we're alone down here. Oh no, ascended bad guys. Who would have guessed? Oh, they're just going to keep flooding in, huh? Or just ignore them and kept going. Really? This is not the end of our tail. Oh, this is like a mini boss. Okay, a taskmaster, huh? All right. The Ascendant Order has been hiding here for a while. Lord Bakara was right to be concerned. He wasn't concerned about this. He was trying to shift us away from looking here, if Not anything. The end of that tale. Or trying to avoid us even looking here, I should say. Take a look at that pile of paper. Welcome, initiates. Welcome, ascendant initiates. There are many who believe we were defeated after the, the after the events at All Flags Islet, but the flame of our vision is not so easily snuffed out. You have followed rumors and whispers to find us. Soon, others will join you in a growing swell of opposition to the royal warmongers that rule our lands. An uprising is coming to the sisters. The events on Galen are only the beginning. Join your druid, your druid brothers and sisters in taking back what is rightfully ours. The dream of Cassarain will come to pass, and together we will reclaim the legacy of the Bretons. You have my word, the Ascendant Lord. The Ascendant Lord is recruiting disillusioned druids after the events on Galen. Insidious. What a good response. <gasps> Insidious. The delivery was really good on that. What did Ravana just throw? She just threw like a little glowy thing? Those must be the crates the courier delivered. Check the labels. Oh, we're Those in combat. Were intended for steadfast manner. Why deliver them here? See what's inside the open one. Wait, I wanted to read that note. Damn it. Uh, Shorebird Express Agency from Daggerfall to deliver to Steadfast Manor. Contents, six crates from Stag and Stallion Armorers. 
Attention, Captain Marguerite, Society of the Steadfast. Sounds like a bunch of armor. Society of the Steadfast Armor. With that, the Ascendant Order could impersonate Steadfast Knights. Hmm. Yeah, that does sound bad. Oh, and this fire song. Hmm. I wonder if I was supposed to look over here for something, too. I probably am. Hold on, let me go that way. Oh, I didn't know those rearmed. Oh, you can roll over? I didn't realize you could roll over those. Look, over on that table. Druid Edrild. I understand your garden below Garrick's Rest is blooming. Perfect. When you receive the shipment of wine, here is how I want you to proceed. Add your newly developed poison to one of the bottles. I've arranged for it to be part of a gift basket for Lady Arabelle. Our suspicions grow and will likely discover our agents in steadfast manner if we do not take action. I'm sure she won't be able to resist taking a taste of this rare vintage. She does so love her wine. Do the same for the gift you will send to Duchess Alea. Then crate up the rest of the bottles. The courier will meet you outside. Take the delivery from them, then give them the crates of wine. The courier's orders to deliver them to, cast deliver them to Castle Navir. If all goes as planned, both Arabelle and Alea will be dead and blame will fall squarely on malcontents in House 2 Fort. As for the relic... I gift it to you for safekeeping when I am a, while I am away. If Steadfast Manor becomes compromised in my absence, use it to enter the tunnels below the cellar. Destroy any documents you find there. We must, we must not reveal our true identity. Oh, my webcam crashed. True identity until the time is right, the Ascendant Lord. The Ascendant Lord gave clear orders to this dru- Hmm, is that a key over there? Hold on, let me just get my uh, webcam back up and running. Okay, we're back. I'm lucky I caught that pretty quick, it seems. I was just rolling back through the footage. Give me that key. Don't do that again, webcam. You went quite a bit this time, but don't do that again. Can I... Just we didn't to talk expect to her. the Ascendant Order to wither Ooh, away. a rat. But I had no idea its roots ran so deep. And it seems they have crept into our most trusted circles. Someone at Steadfast Manor diverted this armor shipment here. Let's review what we uncovered. We found recruitment handbills directed at dish dish disillusioned druids. We know that the Ascendant Lord allied with factions of the Elder Tide and Firesong circles. But to actively promote a sacred druidic prophecy to gain followers to his cause. What about those crates we found? The shipping label said they were destined for Steadfast Manor. Oh, by the way, I was cut off by my webcam, but I was going to say, I wonder what sacred relic was handed off to the druid here. Hmm, anything relevant recently? The shipping label said they were destined for Steadfast Manor and contained suits of armor. Armor that the Ascendant Order can use to impersonate Steadfast Knights. I know Captain Marguerite by reputation. We must talk to her about the shipments. But first... I still need to gather samples of the plants used to make the poison. The letter to the druid alchemist detailed the plan to poison Lady Arabelle and mentioned a garden. And I assume the key we found will grant us access to this alchemical garden. Then I can craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She and Lord Bakara will know how to best handle this situation once she recovers from the poison. Maybe don't involve Bakaro. Maybe don't. That man is a weasel. A weaselly lord. Because really, I mean, we've done the whole rich proprietor or influential proprietor that you think is your ally turns on you. We've done that so many times. We did that with Orsinium. We did that... Let me think. I'll go and order the DLCs. It kind of happens in Morrowind, but not really. Uh, nothing in Clarkbrook City. Uh, Merkmire. Major plot point in Merkmire. Um, uh, uh, 
Blackwood, it was quickly revealed, but they pulled that a guard that card again. Oh, I skipped all of Skyrim. Yeah, that happens. Greymore, it happens, even though he's not very friendly. Like, I get it. It can be hard to come up with new plots, but we got to stop reusing the whole deception thing. I'd rather have a new villain introduced in the epilogue than someone that they think they're being clever with, you know? That door. See if the key we found will unlock it. I guess we have to fight. Yep. A druid alchemist's workshop. Let's look around. Well, first we gotta fight the druid. Here's how we deal with pests in my garden. Uh huh. That's what I was looking for. A sister's cave bloom. But I've never seen one with quite that color before. I'll take a sample. With these, I should be able to craft an antidote. What did you find over there? I found a box. I gathered enough of the plant to craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She will soon be on her way to a full recovery. Did you find anything interesting in the druid ritual box? A green crystal. That's a shard of the green. I've never seen an intact one before. Long ago, druids used them to protect sacred locations. The practice withered like leaves on a dying vine, mostly because they were so hard to come by. Hang on to that for now. What now, Druid Ravana? Now? Now we do exactly what Lady Arabelle would want us to. We follow the clues. Head to Steadfast Manor. We need to talk to Captain Marguerite. I'll meet you there after I start the preparations for the antidote. You got it. I suppose there's a convenient exit from here. Oh, there sure is. Didn't even know that notice that was a door. Webcam, don't you mess with me. Well, that threw my theory that it was my capture footage causing my webcam to crash. I think it's just I think it's just the webcam's a piece of crap. I think that's really all there is to it. I'll uh I'm going to just have to break down and buy a new webcam. They're not that expensive. I don't know why I keep putting it off. It's just... I hate... I hate troubleshooting is the best way I could put it. I I buy a product. I want it to work maybe not directly out of the box, but with not that much setup. And computers just don't offer that kind of convenience. That's why I hate playing computer games most of the time. On PlayStation or Xbox... I install the game, I adjust the settings, I'm in. It's rare that a game doesn't work, and if it does, it's because of the developers, not because of the system. That will be all, Sentry. But what's this? A druid and Lady Arabelle's assistant. Are you a bad guy, too? Forgive the intrusion, Captain. My friend will explain. Are you a bad guy? You might be a bad guy. What brings a druid and Lady Arabelle's most trusted assistant to Steadfast Manor? I'm afraid Lord Bacaro is still on Galen leading the relief efforts there. Is there something I can help you with? I found crates in the shipping label addressed to you in an Ascendant Order stronghold. Interesting. I was informed that those crates were lost at sea, but I suspected there was more going on than a simple accident. Add to that the minor thefts and intruders my knights keep running off, it seems the Ascendant Order has targeted us. I also found this shard stone. Do you recognize it? You say you found this with the Ascendant Order? That's one of Lord Bacaro's most prized possessions. He usually keeps it down in the cellars with his collection of trinkets from his adventuring days. Those thieves were bolder than I thought. So you're claiming that the Society of the Steadfast has nothing to do with the Ascendant Order? Claiming? The Society provides aid to those in need. But it's evident that the Ascendant Order stole from us. You're Lady Arabelle's investigator. Would you check the cellars and help me determine how those thieves got past our security? Sure, you want to come with me so you can try and stab me in the back? Take this key. It will open the door to the cellars. Just follow the path to the north toward the dock. If the Ascendant Order is stealing from the Society of the Steadfast, we need to know how and why. Tell me about these efforts on Galen. The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involves providing relief to those unfortunate enough to be caught up in war or disaster. Galen was recently rocked by both brutal assaults and volcanic activity. 
We're sending supplies and healers. You seem to know me, but I don't believe we've met. Not officially, no. But Lord Vaccaro tells me everything. I handle the day-to-day -day workings of the Society of the Steadfast and command our small contingent of knights. When Lord Vaccaro travels, I oversee operations at Steadfast Manor. Okay. Goodbye. You're... I give her a 50-50 of being a bad guy. We'll find out in a few minutes, I imagine. I'm gonna have to silence you, or who knows, one of these cheesy think they're so clever villain lines. Why is it druid? The cells are beneath Steadfast Manor. That's just where I store mementos of my life before I founded the Society of the Steadfast. I'm sure you wouldn't find anything interesting down there. Huh. Why is there rubble as if something was dug out? Hmm. That empty sconce. See the druid symbols carved into it? Check if the shard fits into the socket. Does Bokaro have, like, formal druidic... Training? Why did that not work? Just oh. as I suspected, a hidden door. Let's see what other secrets this manor is hiding. Ancient Druid Circle. Oh, okay. We have one of those barriers that sometimes are issues. A passage leading deeper beneath the manor. Let's see what Lord Bakara was hiding down here. Ah, she's immediately on the suspicion train with me as well, it seems. A druid circle. And an ancient one by the looks of it. I want to get a closer look. Oh, we got Spriggins now. So is he a druid? See, that, that part would be surprising. Not that he's a villain. That's That's been so obvious from the start, but... If he's a druid and a knight, that would be a cool Powerful twist. Powerful spirits often guard locations such as this. Be careful. Oh, I was going to say, it's probably not a chimera. It is a chimera. Ooh, a red one. You're not Erdir, so I'm probably fine. This is the first chimera I've actually fought. Okay, good fight. From what Urdir was doing, it looks like they have all sorts of elemental attacks. Oh, I should talk to her. Natch, can you get out of the way, please? These creatures were summoned to protect this place. There's more of them than can just be explained by the natural attraction of the circle. But who could have performed such a summoning? Do you know where we are, Ravana? Somewhere beneath Steadfast Manor. But if you're asking what purpose it serves, that's an ancient druid circle. It's a place of power and meditation from long ago. As far as I know, the Stone Lore Circle isn't aware this location even exists. Why would Lord Bakaro keep a place like this a secret? I'm not sure. But stones as old as these, they hold memories, emotions from ages past. Some believe they can tap into that power, use it for their own purposes. There may be a perfectly benign reason to keep such a place secret. You don't sound convinced. More often than not, places such as this are forgotten for a reason. Let's see what else we can learn and depart this ancient hall as soon as we can. Is it going to be like some kind of super twist? Like Picaro is a descendant of the Druid King himself? Or he's a descendant of the All Wither followers? Something like that? Because that one guy got banished when he tried to kill, Down or there. when he succeeded Let's get a closer look. dealing a fatal blow to King Kasserain, right? Maybe he's his descendant. Those carvings, definitely druidic. Oh, I thought that was a person standing there. Oh, that's the Ascendant Lord's armor. A genealogy, a genealogy and in-depth study commissioned by Lady Lirina Merchad. The Merchad's members of Dr not only were the Merchads clearly royal blood, if you consider Druid... Oh! 
House Machad's heraldry would be rendered as three cups, spilling seeds and leaving leaves if not for the Druid connection. Uh huh. So I was right. He is a descendant of the king of King Catherine. At first, my rage at the failures in High Island Galen knew, knew, knew no bounds. I had set up everything for success. The Alliance leader should have died at sea, but they were too stubborn. And my Magus failed to kill them all flags. If Lady Arabelle's champion hadn't killed the fool, I would have. Then they foiled my plans on Galen. House Bernard would have fallen, and I should have a unified. I should have had a unified Druid Empire as my ally. Then I could have disbanded the Society of the Steadfast and replaced it with my Ascendant Order. The Magus was too arrogant. Ars Druid or Lath too hesitant. I cannot allow others to fail me again. A new Druid king must rise to fulfill the prophecy and, re and claim the sacred regalia. I always intended this moment. It's my blood heritage, after all. I am the last living descendant of Druid King Kasserain. Though through my mother's bloodline, the legacy of the Bretons is mine to claim. I would have been content to let Orlaith rule for a time while I consolidated power and formulated plans, but she was too weak. I see that I must step forward now. I must replace the corruption of the Ruby Throne with the purity of the Ivy Throne, as nature demands. When I claim the regalia and awaken the true power of Mount Firesong, I will bury the current order in fire and ash. And from those ashes, a new order will rise. Not of brittle rubies and stone, but of ivy and vines and roots that entwine and grow and spread. A new green age will dawn, nourished on the blood of the old. Oh, the ruby throne is in the imperial ruby throne. That armor. It looks just like the ascendant lord, doesn't it? Yeah, wait until you see what I just read. What's the connection here? Why does the Ascendant Order care about this place? And why does Lord Baccaro have a suit of the Ascendant Lord's armor? I found a journal written by Lord Baccaro. In it, he admits to being the Ascendant Lord. What? But Lord Baccaro is a man of peace. Why secretly control the very order of rogue knights that are actively trying to destroy everything he's worked for? I don't understand. Lord Baccaro wanted the Fire Song to unite the Druids. He wants the Circles to crown a new Druid King. So he helped foster the conflicts on Galen, then stepped in to help with the Steadfast after the dust settled, all while making alliances with the victors. But his plans failed. No new druid king has been crowned. I have also found this genealogy. It indicates that Lord Bakar was a descendant of the last druid king. Let me see that. Could this be accurate? Could Lord Bakaro be a direct descendant of druid king Kasserain? Oh no. The carvings. I think I know why this place is important to Lord Bakaro. Examine the carvings. I'll explain what I see in them. Well, to no one's surprise, he's the bad guy, but I'd like that they kind of hyped up his motivations. Do you see? That's a stylized rendition of the Ivy Throne with the Druid King's regalia, the crown, staff, and gauntlet below it, carved above the throne. That's the heraldry of House Mershad. Oh. I thought the three cups were the alliances, not... Uh-oh. So, Lord Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, believes he's descended from the last Druid King through his mother's bloodline. He wants to become the Druid King and re-establish the Ivy Throne. That's why he went to Galen. He needs the Druid King's regalia. What's so important about the Druid King's regalia? In and of themselves, the regalia have no innate power. They're symbols, nothing more. However, the very fact that the sacred seeds have been regrown into the crown, staff, and gauntlet give credence to the prophecy of the Druid King. Remind me about the prophecy? The dream <clears throat> of Kasserain. The Druids of the archipelago have debated its meaning since it was first uttered so long ago. With the regalia, Lord Bakaro can proclaim that the conditions of the prophecy have been met and that he's the new Druid King. Would the Druids really believe that? The prophecy holds deep significance for Druids. We've been waiting for its promise to manifest for a long, long time. We have to hurry. 
I must administer the antidote to Lady Arabelle and warn her of this betrayal. Meet me back at Mandrake Manor. What about Captain Marguerite? Should we tell her what we uncovered? Captain Marguerite's reputation is impeccable, and she seemed unaware of all this. But the same could be said about Lord Bucaro. Until we determine how far this corruption has spread into the society of the Steadfast, we keep this to ourselves. And this is the part where she jumps in and attacks us. No? Oh. I want to leave just in case she tries to get the jump on us. If not, I'm sure she'll show up later in a quest, like, blocking a door. Well, the twist that he's a half-druid is kind of cool. I'll, I'll, a few points. We're not completely in the negative here, but... It's still kind of unimpressive writing. No, she really didn't show up. Okay, then. Ooh, it's taking a long time to load. Hey, don't do this. Game? Don't make me restart. Oh, wait, you're you're trying to load something. Okay. I'll admit, I haven't had any real issues with the PC version. I had one crash. It wasn't even a crash. It was just... The game just hung for a bit, and I think that was my computer's fault, not the game's. So it runs pretty smooth. Then again, the consoles run pretty smooth until they accidentally add bugs in with a patch. So, it's not so much the system, it's it's unforeseen consequences of unpredictable patchwork. Man, this game is old already. It's what, the 8th anniversary next April? Or is that the 9th? It's the 8th. Lady Arabella. Oh, she looks much better. Drink this. Oh, never mind. It will neutralize the poison. We discovered the source of the poison and something more. Our friend will tell you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Tell me what you uncovered, dear. I was kind of hoping she would have been here before me and filled you in on everything. That's not how you drink. Oh, couldn't you have added a touch of cinnamon or honey to this, Ravana? No matter. I assume I will be hale and hearty again before long. Now, enough with this suspense. Tell me what you've uncovered, dear. Lord Bacaro's the Ascendant Lord. He sent the poisoned wine to you and Duchess Alea. <sighs> the poison must have affected my hearing. Did you say Lord Bacaro is the Ascendant Lord? How can that be? He sponsored the peace talks. He started a society of the Steadfast, which has done nothing but good for the archipelago and the mainland. I found his journal. He admitted his crimes and claims to be a direct descendant of the Druid King. Looking at things from this perspective puts the delays, and how the Ascendant Order has managed to stay one step ahead of us in a very different light. But why go through all this trouble? What is Lord Bacaro actually planning? From what we found under Steadfast Manor, we think he wants to be the next Druid King. Oh, I feel better already. Well done, dear Ravana. As for this business about the Druid King, I read the reports from Galen. Some Druids truly believe that the Ivy Throne would be an improvement over the Ruby One. But all this chaos and murder... What should we do, Lady Arabelle? We've been hesitant Ooh, for too kind of... long. Unsure of where the next Who's attack would come from. Now we know. It's coming from inside our circle, from someone we considered an ally, a friend. Take this, my friend. We'll deal with Bacaro soon enough. I can't in good conscience start the peace talks while the Ascendant Lord, the man I knew as Lord Bacaro, is out there doing who knows what. I'm afraid I need your help again, my friend. We must keep the Druid King's regalia out of Bacaro's hands. Bacaro already has the gauntlet, but Count Stefan and Druid Laurel have the crown and staff. Then we must assume that Count Stefan and Druid Laurel are in danger. If Lord Bacaro truly believes he's the heir to the Ivy Throne of the Druids, he'll stop at nothing to get his way. We must go to Galen and defend the remaining regalia. What do you need me to do? Druid Ravana and I will get Zaji to sail us to Galen. 
While we collect the staff from the Stone Lore Circle, I want you to go to Count Stefan and protect the Druid King's crown. We'll meet you at Castle Mornard as soon as we can. Okay. I'll leave Captains Colleen and Suzo to guard the Alliance Suzo, that was while we name. go to Galen. First we protect the Regalia. Then we stop Lord Bukaro or the Ascendant Lord or whatever he calls himself. Now, get to Vastir and protect the crown. Why can't we just start the peace talks? Because we don't know how far-reaching Bakara's conspiracy is. The Alliance leaders are safe inside the palace, with their loyal captains watching over them. And we don't want them to hear of this betrayal yet. It would end the peace talks in a flash. What happens if Lord Bakara gets all three items of the Druid King's regalia? I don't really know. I'm not an expert on Druidic law and prophecy. According to what you and Ravana discovered, Bakara believes he's a direct descendant of Kassarain, the last druid king. If he gains the regalia, he could make a claim for the title. And the druid circles would accept him as their king? I never underestimate anything when it comes to religious fervor, my dear. If nothing else, his connection to this legacy gives him a legitimate claim to power through his mother's bloodline. And many might see the ivy throne as preferable to the ruby one. How are you feeling, Lady Arabel? Did the antidote work? Druid Ravana's elixir has done wonders. I feel stronger already. Still, I was weak from the poison for a long time. I expect my recovery will be slow but persistent. Don't worry, dear. I'll leave the dangerous work to you and Ravana for now. Anyone have anything to say? Oh, I got an endeavor done. Lucky me. I forgot to check this. Uh, trophy from the stores of the Fire Song Circle still warms the touch. The leaders of the circle knew endless magics now lost to zealotry and madness. Oh, and it's actually Fire Song style. Nice. And I got shoes? Sister's Guardian. Oh, weird. It's Sister's Guardian, but it's a set from Galen. Well designed to protect the legs and turn the head. These boots have the added benefit of being solidly waterproof, fitting for a nobility based in a bay. Alright, let's head back to Galen, but we'll do it in the next episode. The Ivy Throne. So I imagine this will be the conclusion quest, and then we have the celebration one after, if we're not changing up the formula too much. But that's it for this episode, so thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon, but until then... Bye.